Hey guys, I don't Steve Lab here. In this video here, I'm just going to do a quick little run uh, over of the different type of condensing coils that are out there on the market. There's basically three kinds. There's the spine fin coil. There's the copper tube aluminum uh, fin coil. That's the most common out there. And there's also the micro channel coil. And I have, you know, in my scrap pile, I got all three. And I just kind of go over them and explain the differences um, and I give you some shots of what they look like and just for the new guys so they, if they come across this stuff They know what they're dealing with, you know, there's um, some are easier to clean than others and there's there's good there's good and bad and all I'm um, not bagging any any one of them. The only one that I really really dislike is the micro channel because they leak all the time um, You know, there's a couple of bad things about the micro channel We all we all talked about the micro channel and what everybody thinks about them for the most part everybody dislikes them a um, couple of blowhards out there. Embrace the technology. Embrace the technology. No, we ain't going to embrace the technology. The technology sucks. We don't embrace it. We, 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 we say it sucks. We tell them. That's how it is. That's how we do things in this industry. If something's trash, we speak up and we speak our mind. Oh, embrace the technology. Well, you all can embrace the technology. And guess what? They're, they're getting away from it because it's trash. But anyway, um, we'll talk about the spine fin. Coil, which is, you know, American standard in the almighty train. Can't be the train, you know. It's got the spine fin coil. It's the best coil on the market. <laughs> some would debate that. Debate that also. Um, some are easier to clean than others. And it's just a quick little video for the young guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, guys, on this video here, I'm going to talk about different type of condensing uh, fins. Different, uh, you know, manufacturers have different type of fins. This is the spine fin coil. It would be American standard train type of external fin. This would be, you know, pretty much what everybody else on the market has, which would be, you know, a copper coil with aluminum fins on it. You know, this is a this is an old Goodman. Uh, this one's got a scroll compressor on it. Some guys would call it the brown turd. I'll show you the difference in the coils. And this one here is a micro channel coil. You can see it's kind of like a car radiator. There's no copper fins, and it's got a flat tube. And that top's got like six or eight different small holes that run all the way in it. That's what they call a micro channel. Now it's black because that was a replacement coil. It's a little two ton unit. That coil alone, because I replaced that coil before I replaced the condensing unit. The guy went with an upgraded system. It was like $850 just for that replacement coil for a micro channel. What a piece of shit that is. But I'm just showing you kind of the little differences. That's a micro channel. You can see it's got the flat tubes. It's got that long tube. And it wouldn't it have the flat tubes. That's what you call a micro channel. Now there's a couple of good and bad points. This type of coil, you know, with my little brush, it's easy to get the big bulk of the muck off before you hit it with a coil cleaner. It's a pretty durable coil. You can see it's a pretty durable coil. You could really, usually what I like to do is I like to, if the coils are really dirty, I like to hit it with this brush, get all the big stuff off it, and then hit it with the coil cleaner and a hose. Then they say you're not supposed to use coil cleaner with a micro channel. So these are the three. And this one here, you have to be careful, the spine fins. You can kind of clean it with a brush if you go easy. <laughs> but this is by far... You know, the hardest coil to clean when it's all full of dirt on the outside. Really, the only way to do it is hit it with coil cleaner and hit it with a hose. And it's, by far, a lot of guys don't like the spine fin. And that's the almighty train. The almighty train, the best on the market, would have the spine fin. Some guys, some guys love train, train heads. I got nothing against train, but this is the type of coil they have. I'm not a big fan of cleaning these coils. It's a spine fin. 
you know what happens a lot of times is these 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 fins will come pop right off see how they pop right off you really can't you really can't hit it with a coat with a with a brush hard because you can knock the fins right off see it Well, a coil like this, you can hit, you can hit with the coil with, with the brush, no problem. Get right in there and you know get the hard stuff off, but not so much with the spine fin. This by far is the worst design that they ever had. A lot of them will leak. They'll leak like crazy. Embrace the technology. Embrace the technology, they would say. You have to embrace the technology. Well, York is going back to the copper. They're going back to this design. After they embraced the technology for a while, they decided it wasn't worth the technology. Too many problems. Yeah, so York, Johnson Controls going back to the copper coil. Like a Goodman coil or carrier or whatnot, you know. This is this is by far the you know for cleaning wise, and maintenance wise, ease of operation. This is by far the best coil option in my opinion. Um, spine fins harder to clean. They say it's got good heat transfer, maybe so. This is just on my scrap pile. I figured I'd do a little video. I had three right here in a row, and you guys could see the difference. Just for the young guys, for the most part. I got a couple of PTAC units and my copper, copper fin coils, too. Aluminum, aluminum fins uh, on the copper tube. Actually, it's aluminum tube on that. PTAC units. Got a couple of them here. There's another, uh, similar to a Goodman unit. So, a recap this is a spine fin coil. You're gonna see what it looks like. Very delicate. Very delicate. This is the industry standard. Maybe copper tubes or aluminum tubes, most likely it's copper tubes. You know, on an outside condensing unit. A lot of the new indoor units. You can see a lot of the, the, the indoor units are copper. They were copper tube, now they're aluminum tube. But they still have the aluminum fins. There's some manufacturer going with the um, with the micro channel, like Nordine and stuff like that. And I showed you what a micro channel looks like. Micro channel would have this tube right here. And it'd have flat tubes. Each one of those flat tubes has got like six or eight holes in it each one so the only thing that they can say about that is it doesn't hold a lot of refrigerant but you can't pump them down either so but by far this is this is a bad design a lot of leaks a lot of leak is out there a lot of a lot of problems with these micro channel you don't want to see that on your condenser in your backyard you don't want that for a condenser coil you don't want it but that's just the three. And I um, just figured I'd do a quick little video and discuss a couple of things about it. And just for the young guys. So they know what they're dealing with when they come across this stuff. If you have one like this, you can hit it with the hose. Best to hit it from the inside out. Try to blow a lot of that dirt out. This one's not that dirty. But if you do have any kind of condensing unit, wouldn't hurt to hit with a hose. You know, we'll try to keep it as clean as possible. You want to keep the dirt out of it. Very important.
you know, obviously coil cleaner if it's really dirty. Hit it with coil cleaner, foaming coil cleaner, and then rinse it really good. Get all that shit out of there. <clears throat> well, guys, hopefully I help some guys.